What would you do if you found out you live near a hazardous waste site? The Environmental Protection Agency considers those sites a threat to human health or the environment. The agency calls them Superfund sites. There are more than 1300 Superfund sites across the United States. You see the dots on that map. Three of those sites are right here in East Tennessee, including one in Knox County. This week, we are taking an in-depth look at each of the sites, the cleanup and how it impacts you. Here's WBIR 10 News reporter Stephanie Haynes. If I build my home on nuclear weapons waste, what happens to my kids 30 years later? Just outside St. Louis. There is more radioactive waste at the site than they thought. Communities in outrage over an underground fire burning near a radioactive landfill. And the community has demanded that the EPA clean it up. The EPA says it will. The agency put the landfill on a list of 22 sites that need the EPA's immediate attention making the Westlake landfill one of the most dangerous Superfund sites. A Superfund site is, quote, any land in the United States that has been contaminated by hazardous waste and identified by the EPA as a candidate for cleanup because it poses a risk to human health and or the environment. According to the EPA, there are 1,341 Superfund sites across the United States, and there are three right here in East Tennessee. The Oak Ridge Reservation, the Clinch River Corporation in Roan County, and Smoky Mountain Smelters in Knox County. To be clear, these three sites are not like the one outside St. Louis, but we wanted to learn more about them and about the Superfund program. In 1980, Congress enacted Superfund law, or the Comprehensive Environmental Response, Compensation, and Liability Act. It allows the EPA to clean up the sites. It also forces the potentially responsible party to pay for it. The Superfund program has a trust fund, but over the years, Congress has given less and less to the program, and reports say cleanup has slowed. That's what scares the people in the communities that live around the Westlake landfill. We are praying for them so that behind the scenes, they can do and be allowed to do what they need to do to keep our kids and our community safe. And on our website, WBAR.com, we have a map where you can look up every Superfund site in the U.S. and read up on its progress. And tomorrow, we'll show you our first site, the Oak Ridge Reservation, where cleanup of hazardous materials generated from the Manhattan Project could take decades. Mm -hmm. Robin and John. All right, Stephanie, thank you.